Hello friends, this video on triangle and its properties part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 4. Angles Q and R of a triangle PQR are 25 degree and 65 degree. Write which of the following is true. Now this is 25, this is 65. Can we find this angle? Yes, we can because we know that sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So angle P plus angle Q plus angle R is equal to 180 degree. So angle P plus 25 degree plus 65 degree is equal to 180 degree. So what is 65 plus 25 that is 90 degree. This is equal to 180 degree therefore angle P is equal to 180 minus 90 which is equal to 90 degree. So we find that this angle P is 90 degree which tells us that triangle PQR is a right angled triangle. Now in a right angled triangle as per Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square which is the hypotenuse the side opposite to the right, right angle that means this is hypotenuse. So as per Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square that is QR square is equal to PQ square plus PR square. So QR square is equal to PQ square plus PR square. So this is true. Question number 5. The diagonals of a rhombus measure 16 cm and 30 cm. Find its perimeter. So what is a rhombus? So a rhombus is a quadrilateral that is a polygon with four sides such that all sides are equal but all angles are not equal. So this is a rhombus where all sides are equal. Let us say it the let's say we name the rhombus as ABCD such that AD is equal to AB is equal to BC is equal to CD. All the sides are equal. Now in this question the diagonals of the rhombus are given. So these are the two diagonals of the rhombus and let's say that the diagonals bisect each other at point O. Now as per property of rhombus, now when we talk about a rhombus, there are a few important properties of rhombus. The first property is that all sides are equal. The second property is that diagonals bisect each other, diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees. That means the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. This is 90 degree, this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree. So that is another thing. So that means we see that each of these triangles is a right angled triangle. Whether you talk about triangle AOD or you talk about triangle COD. So each of these triangles is a right angled triangle. Now what is given in the question? So in the question AC is given as let's say 30 centimeters and BD is given as 16 centimeters. So basically both the diagonals are given. We have to find out the perimeter that means boundary. So perimeter would be like sum of all the four sides. So if we are able to find out one side we will just you know multiply it by four to find the perimeter. Right. So how do we find one side? So in order to find one side, let us focus on one right angled triangle. Let us focus on this triangle. So in triangle AOD, as per Pythagoras theorem, what can we say? Hypotenuse square, which would be the hypotenuse. This is the 90 degree. So the side opposite to 90 degree is AD. So basically AD square will be equal to AO square plus DO square. Right. So what is AO? AO is nothing but half of the diagonal AC. So AO will be equal to half of AC. So half of AC would be 15 centimeter. Similarly, what would be DO? DO will be half of BD that is equal to 16 by 2 which is equal to 8 centimeter. So AO can be written as 15 square. Similarly, DO can be written as 8. So this is 8 square. So 15 square would be 225. 8 square would be 64. So this would be 289. Therefore, the value of AD will be equal to root over 289, which is equal to 17 centimeters.
therefore we find found out one side of the rhombus which is 17 cm now what would be the perimeter perimeter is equal to sum of all the four sides that is adding 17 for four times which is nothing but 4 into side that is equal to 4 into 17 which is equal to 68 centimeters therefore perimeter of the rhombus would be 68 centimeters so with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson on properties of triangles and I hope that this lesson would have given you a uh, you know, broader idea on the subject of geometry. You got to understand that geometry is not only about whatever you are learning in this particular chapter or this particular section but it also uh, kind of relates to whatever you have learned previously in geometry. For example, you need to have a good idea about the different parallelograms, their properties, the quadrilaterals, their properties because we make use of all of those properties to solve a problem. So I hope this lesson would have helped you. See you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.